First, I want to congratulate the president for being elected, and I look forward to working with him as once I'm elected as the county assembly speaker of Nakuru. Mm -hmm. I call upon the MTs of Nakuru, give me an opportunity to be your leader, and I will definitely deliver with you and be able to deliver the promise that you have been elected for. Thank you so much, and God bless you. For me, I'll just say it was bold, uh, courageous, and cautious in the same breath, given that there are some bold statements that he made. For example, the independence of the judiciary. Mm. He made that uh, commitment and he has already fulfilled it. The independence of the police, he has fulfilled it. I think uh, what we need to do is extend the same independence to institutions like the county assemblies, which are supposed to check the counties, so that the treasury can also get the pay them uh, their money directly and they can exercise their oversight role independently. Mm -hmm. uh, in co uh, courageous in the sense that uh, things like the appointment of the judges who are not there, uh, who are not appointed by the other administration. He has said he will do that, mm -hmm. and he will do that immediately. Cautious in the sense that uh, the issue of CBC, the issue of CRB, mm -hmm. the issue of the money that people can draw, he has been very cautious, knowing that these are regulated industry or there are policies in place. He was very careful in doing that. But for us in Nakuru, uh, we have lost. The port <laughs> operations are going oh, back yes. to, to Mombasa. Yeah. So I'm running to be the speaker of Nakuru County mm -hmm. Assembly. So my first order of business will be ask the MCS to discuss the issues on the plenary and tell the executive we have lost the pet. What are you going to do about the economic zones around the Naivasha? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to a very interesting mix of opportunities for both uh, the county and the national government in terms of how this manifesto will be realized, mm -hmm. in terms of how the administration will be able to realize its aspirations for the Kenyans. But I think it's important that we take advantage of the support of the international community that is here to do business. Mm -hmm. We are all here to do business. Let us make some money for Kenyans so that Kenyans can be able to put money in their pocket. Mm -hmm.